Food Ball isn't for the soft-hearted and definitely not for the soft-bodied, as we will learn shortly. If you hope to be a professional footballer today, you might want to reconsider because these guys take no prisoners when it comes to putting in a challenge. So today, we're diving deep into the world of bone-crunching tackles by looking at the top 10 most brutal fouls in football history. Number 10, Zidane's Headbutt. First up, let's start with a little drama and talk about Zidane's headbutt. Zinedine Zidane was known for his cool demeanor, but shocked the world in the 2006 World Cup Final when he finally lost control. During extra time against Italy, Marco Materazzi's comment about Zidane's sister hit a nerve. Zidane, normally composed, couldn't hold back and headbutted Materazzi. It was a red card moment and France eventually lost on penalties. Zidane faced criticism for letting his team down, but also gained support for defending his family. Mitterazzi later admitted that his words were crass, but he didn't expect such a reaction. Well, it's not all business after all, some of it is very much personal. And vice versa, because you wouldn't believe that there is now a statue of the headbutt in Qatar, a reminder of one of football's most unforgettable moments. Number 9. Knockout Kick Unlike Zidane's headbutt, this next red card moment wasn't exactly a dramatic turn of events. But the player at the receiving end paid a heavier price than Matarazzi, that's for sure. As these players chased after the ball, one of them got his stars knocked right out of him. It was a miracle the poor fella didn't break his neck when he got jabbed right in the throat with a knockout kick. You have to admit, that kick was almost cartoonish. Stuff like that simply does not happen in real life. Not even martial arts enthusiasts play dirty like that. Someone needs to tell this man he's playing the wrong sport and haven't possibly changed professions. Number 8. Dion kicks Javi Alonso. But this next flying kick sends number 2 out of the ballpark. It seems Dion understood the mission when it comes to brutal fouls. Now, this iconic 2010 World Cup moment deserved a spot in the top 10 because of De Jong's clean kung fu kick that went straight for Alonso's heart. Eight years later, De Jong swears he was just aiming for the ball in hopes he and Alonso can chuckle about it someday. Which means it hasn't happened yet. But back to the match, Spain clinched a 1-0 win after extra time thanks to Iniesta's magic. Yet, what stole the show was De Jong's survival on the field post-booting Alonso, adding another chapter to football's epic red card tales. Pretty intense, right? Well, this is just the beginning. Better like the video now because you won't get the time to do it once we get to the business end. Number 7. Muller vs Ajax Tagliafico This next one is like a replay of De Jong going all bruisedly on Alonso, only this time the foot met with a head. In 2018, Muller was handed an early exit from the game courtesy of an unintentional clash with Tagliafico's head. It went down in the 75th minute as Muller was hurrying to bring down a lofty crossfield pass, despite the incident leaving Tagliafico with a cut. Fortunately, it didn't sideline him long, and he admirably soldiered on. The man went on to net a crucial last-minute equalizer to cap off an eventful match and talk about a comeback. Number 6. Suarez Biting Chiellini Suarez's bite left Muller's kick at number 5 because the drama approaching the red card was just too ridiculous. In a match during the 2014 World Cup, Uruguay's Luis Suarez shocked the world with a bite on Italy's Giorgio Chiellini's shoulder. Chiellini showed the ref the bite marks while Suarez acted innocent, checking his teeth as if nothing happened. The stadium was puzzled, but replays revealed the truth. Despite this, the ref missed it, as if there were no video referees then. FIFA wasn't impressed and banned Suarez, who had bitten players before for nine games. Should we be appalled or allowed to laugh? <laughs> we're still unsure. It was a bite-sized scandal that everyone talking, proving that even on the world's biggest football stage, some players still have a taste for trouble. Number 5. Alfie Hallen vs. Roy Keane Hallen vs. Keane is quite similar to Suarez's shocking bite-motivated red card. Why? Hallen's injury also came at the behest of an ongoing feud between the two players. In 2001, at the Manchester Derby, Keane intentionally tackled Hallen, injuring his tibia. But Hallen didn't give up and went on to finish the match while Keane was served the red card. The drama puts this one ahead of countless other red card moments. So, what was the drama? Keane got his payback on Haaland four years later following a clash in September 1997 at Elland Road. 
In that incident, Kane ended up injuring his interior cruciate ligament after a tangle with Howland. This injury sidelined Kane for most of the 1997-98 season, and what do you know, even famous football players hold grudges. Number 4, Suns Foul and Sergio Gomes. As far as clashes go, Suns Foul and Sergio Gomes was one to tell the kids. In Everton's clash with Tottenham Hotspur, the match took a dramatic turn when Andre Gomes ended up with an ankle as wobbly as a newborn fool. He and then Suns tackle was more like a recipe for disaster, leaving poor Gomes in a crumbled heap. Sun went from hero to zero with a yellow card, then a red, like a traffic light changing colors, and had to sit that one out. He later scored twice at Red Star Belgrade, but his celebration was clouded by his earlier mistake. Sun later revealed that he sent a message to Gomes apologizing for the mess. In football, where emotions run high, it's a stark reminder that sometimes accidents happen and even the toughest players can't escape feeling a little sorry. Number 3, Martin Taylor versus Arsenal's Eduardo. But now, here we go! We're into the top three! Hold on to your hats because the top three are out of this world! This red card at number three was earned with blood, sweat, and tears, and makes Sun's kick seem like a child's play. On February 23, 2008, in a blank and you'll mess it moment during Birmingham's clash with Arsenal, Taylor made a tackle that left Eduardo seeing stars and not the good kind. The tackle was so bad, it made Eduardo's leg do a twist that would make a pretzel jealous. Ouch, of course. Taylor felt terrible, and his face said it all. The injury knocked Eduardo out for the rest of the season, putting a serious dent in his dreams of becoming a top striker in the league. It was like his soccer career hit a red guard right when he was gearing up for the big leagues. But even though Taylor's tackle was a real doozy, Eduardo gets it. Stuff happens in football. Times passed, wounds have healed, and they've both moved on like champs. Number two, Aaron Ramsey's career scare. At number two, this next foul was like deja vu from Eduardo's nightmare back in 2008, but tenfolds. Arsenal clinched a much needed win, closing in on the league leaders, but the mood soured when Aaron Ramsey suffered a nasty injury. Yes, we're talking about a leg snapping in half. After the two met in an aggressive tackle, Shaw crossed lock tibias with Ramsey, who suddenly broke into screams. Well, it's no surprise that Shaw Cross got his marching orders, looking like he'd see a ghost. But credit to Arsenal, they didn't let the setback ruin their game. They bounced back to snatch victory with a late penalty from Fabregas and a tap in from Bird Mellon. Talk about turning adversity into triumph, and incidentally, Shawcross suffered his tragic leg break during a preseason match against Leicester City, allowing some Arsenal fans to label the injury as karma for Ramsey. Some people don't even get the spirit of sports. Let's hope the players did. Number one, Marcelo's foul. And finally, Marcelo's foul takes the cake at number one. We have seen snap legs before, but not quite like this. In a Cobo Libertadores showdown, Marcelo's footwork accidentally turned into a leg breaker for Argentino's Junior's Sanchez. Marcelo, usually slick on the field, ended up leaving Sanchez with a painful souvenir after stepping on his leg. It was so bad, the cracking sound must have penetrated the whole stadium. Cue the tears and screams as Marcelo gets the red card treatment. But amidst the drama, Marcelo showed some class, sending Sanchez heartfelt wishes for a speedy recovery online. The match ended with a 1 to 1 draw thanks to a late equalizer from Fluminense's Javier. It was a roller coaster ride of emotions, proving that even the pros have their off days. Now let's hope the next leg brings less drama and more action on the pitch. That's it for today. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. We'll see you in the next one.